been presented by a thorough study by Kim Lee Horn. And so I look up at that beautiful seal behind the council and it reminds me that downtown Vero Beach is a history and the heritage of this great city. And we need to value that and we need to do everything we can to improve it because that means higher property values. Higher property values in turn take the burden off the other citizens of the city and make for a more vibrant city. It's about safety. Nobody downtown is looking for a handout. None of these business owners is looking for anything to be given to them. They have invested their hard-earned dollars into this downtown area to make it a more vibrant place, and the results are highly visible, and I thank them for that. I think I would like to just close because I think every, everything's been said that's going to be said by urging the council to support the measure to calm the Twin Piers. It's a proven correlation that traffic calming and road diets lead to reduced traffic accidents and reduced severity of traffic accidents. Thank, Thank you, you, Terry. <laughs> Good evening, Mayor Fletcher, council members. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here. My name is Peter Jones. I live at 2502 57th Circle in Vero Beach. Um, I come to you as uh, an architect, uh, a planner, past president of Main Street Vero Beach, uh, past president of the Florida Association of Architects, um, and uh, 30 years of experience in planning and architecture. And that point is simply that um, I, I think that I come with a background that can speak to the issues that you've been we've been discussing here this evening um, and urge you to please approve or move forward with the traffic calming study um, I think Vicki Gould spoke incredibly eloquently this evening. She's been always kind enough to uh, uh, speak highly of my ability to come up and speak, but I think she said several things this evening which were really, really important, and one of those was the fact